Hi, hi. Hello. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, Herman. How are you? Yeah, very well. Excellent. Nice to see you, everybody. You too. Ready, ready. I'm saber. It's eight o'clock. So we will see who are here, right? Friday. Since Wednesday we were saying it's Friday, it's Friday, but today is Friday, right? Okay. Bella Lisbeth. Bella, bella. Carlos Roberto. Carlos Roberto. Darling. Present teacher. Denis Adonai. <coughs> Edgar Eduardo. Gabriel Stephanie. Present. Germán Agustín. Present teacher. Jessica, Jessica Raquel, Antonia Jessica, <coughs> Carla María, present, uh -huh. Kelly, Marcela, Kelly. Marcelo Vladimir, Mauricio Giovanni, Present. Miguel Efraín. Present, teacher. Monse Elías. Present, teacher. Norma Maritza. Yeah, present. Present, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Pedro Antonio. Ronald Josué. Sabrina Lisette. Present. Tamara. Walter. Waldemar. Ok, bueno. Jessica Edgar. Present teacher. I see you. Me voy conectando. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Nice to see you. Hi, hi, Jessica, nice Miguel. To nice to see you too. The ones that were not here at the beginning, right? Hi, Gabby. Well, it's Friday. <laughs> right? Sí, gracias. Thanks, yeah. Gabby. Yeah. Friday. Uh -huh. Imagine. Things I don't know. I yesterday was thinking it was Friday yesterday, but no. Yes, oh, yesterday <laughs> was Thursday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I don't know. There are some some weeks when we feel like since Tuesday it's Friday. It's Friday, you know? it's not Friday. But Teacher, Friday. it's Friday, but, but I need vacation. <laughs> yeah, almost. Almost, almost. Your vacations are close, 
right? Very, very close. Okay, so nice. And tomorrow, most of you don't work tomorrow, right? Do you work tomorrow? No. Yes. You do? An office teacher. Oh, ah, okay, but yes. from home is a different One story, part. right? Uh -huh. When you have to go yes. to the office, it's like, oh, more time. Yes. Waking up early, traveling and everything. But working from home, I find it, it has a lot of things to do, but it's easier, right? Okay, well, nice, nice. Today, uh, we are going to be doing a review of all the, the, the week, right? And during the week, we have been talking about the simple past. Uh, so today, we are going to make a review of the simple past, affirmative, negative, just no questions, double H questions. And we were also talking in this unit about satisfaction and dissatisfaction, right? We were mentioning also uh, some activities that are done by something happened to my internet. Well, we were talking about uh, things that that we do, right? That we do uh, and things that the customers do. So we are going to be making a review of those things. Nice. Okay, I'm sharing the presentation again. Check. A simple pass review and practice, right? Simple pass review and practice. That's the topic that we have for today. And our objective of the day, participants will be able to prepare a conversation about the things they did yesterday at home. What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday at home or at work? Yeah, that's what you're going to be uh, discussing with your partners. Things you did at home or that you did at work yesterday using the simple past in all forms, right? Just it is a conversation. You will be asking and responding questions about activities that you did yesterday. Okay, well, let's see the vocabulary. This is some vocabulary that we were using during the week. So uh, remember when we were mentioning activities that you do and activities that the customers do, okay? So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to put the missing letters to complete the words. All the letters are missing, all the words are missing a couple of letters. Some are consonants, some other are vowels. So just look at them, write the missing words and completed words, right? The missing letters sort of uncompleted words. Go ahead.
Tell me when you're done. So we check. Number one, teacher, pick up the phone. Pick up the phone, yes. Number two, bye. Hello. Hi. Then, okay, so we say pick up the phone. Uh -huh. Number two, bye. Bye. Ah, number two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to <laughs> Okay, number two is bye. We say like bye with double L. Mm. Yes. Okay, but about nice number three. Yeah. Call. 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 Uh -huh. Get prices, number four. Mm -hmm. Get prices, number five. Epa. We got a little bit of Number five. Explain. Explain, teacher. Explain, yes. Aha, uh -huh. number six. Complain. Complain. Mm -hmm. Number seven. Help. 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 Yeah. Number eight. Assist. Mm -hmm. Assist. Number eight. Number nine, sorry. Okay. Receive. Receive, yes. Receive. Number 10. Understand. Mm -hmm. Number 11. Understand, yes. Eleven. Provides information. Provide information. Yeah. Provide. And this one. What about here in this word that we miss? Productions. 
Where are we missing? Two vowels. Two vowels. No idea. No idea. Difficult teacher. That is one. One's Provide thing. one's information. Mm -hmm. Provides my information, your information, his information, her information. That's why it says once. Okay. And a number 12. What is number 12? Mm -hmm. Request information. Request information. Very good. That's the one. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Remember, this is a vocabulary that we were saying that some activities are done by the customers and some others are done by the, the person or the employee, right? Okay, so check. We have pick up the phone, understand, explain, explain, help, request information, get prices, Provide one's information, assist, buy, call, and we see. Any questions about this vocabulary? Mm -hmm. hmm. nice. Well, before we move to review the simple past, let's write adjectives to show a customer's satisfaction here, and adjectives to show you customer's dissatisfaction here about a product. It can be a product or a service, right, depending on what you offer or what the person gets. So adjectives to show satisfaction or dissatisfaction about a product. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to do it and then we'll check together. Go ahead.
Let me know when you're ready. Are you ready? Teacher, for example, in satisfaction, uh -huh. a bright, good price, uh, excellent quality, okay, good customer attention, and excellent brand. Brand, excellent. Uh, excellent brand. Okay, that's okay. yes. Okay. Uh -huh. and, and this is and this satisfaction and is a. For example, incorrect size, damaged products, um, customer service very lovely, mm -hmm. and the price is very expensive. Definitely, if the price is very expensive, no, sé si se dice. no, expensive yes. price. Expensive price. Expensive price. If the price is very expensive, people will not be satisfied. Okay. Unless, unless the product is of extremely good quality, right? If not, yes. If no, no. Okay. Okay. What else do you have in this satisfaction? What is? No more? No more adjectives in this satisfaction? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Baja, what about the others? Let's think about a service. Let's think about a service. What adjectives would you use to describe a satisfaction of a service gotten? The same as of a product or will, will they be different? Mm -hmm. What adjectives can you use to describe the satisfaction about a service? Uh -huh. Carla Maria? Mm -hmm. like, no, le estoy prestando atención. <laughs> Estoy, estoy en el trabajo, dice. Carlita, Carlita. No me diga, no le estoy prestando atención, Pichi. Literal, pero ¿cómo estoy entendiendo? Ok. 
Solo es que mi nombre. Ay, a ver. Ok. A ver, Edgar, tell me. Think of a service, right? Think of a service. What adjective would you use to describe the satisfaction about a service? Jessica told us about a product. We, we use the same adjectives or can we change a little bit? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Edgar, el microphone. No, no ready, teacher. No, no ready. Okay. Who can tell me? A ver. Jessica said. Good. Excellent. I'm going to introduce you. Hello, teacher. Hi. And the uh, satisfaction for the service, I have an example like uh, the rece receptionist is very friendly. Mm -hmm. And example for the satisfaction uh -huh. is uh, the salesman is a lawyer. And this satisfaction. Is another example for me. Now you say the, can you repeat me again? Uh, excuse me, the salesman is, is very loyal. Is very? Um, no, no. Very mentiroso. Is a, a it's, a, it's a liar. Liar. It's a liar. Liar. Bye. Don't complicate your life too much and tell me only the, the adjectives. A ver, here we have a good. We have good. We have friendly. We have liar. See? What other adjectives can you think of? Mm -hmm. Adjectives. Just the adjective. Don't think Teacher, about the whole sentence. Uh, okay. I, I think satisfaction is is adjective over over thing. Uh, Satisfied, yes. By Satisfied. by example, for me is excellent attention customer. Excellent uh, is mm -hmm. seria. El adjetivo, el adjetivo para mí. Exactly. Sí. Eh, quality product. Eh, quality. Eh, no, pero calidad. ¿Cómo se dice, Chicha? Quality. Quality, ajá. Para mí eso pienso que es lo okay. que usted calidad está... De, calidad es un noun. Sí. ¿Cuál sería el adjetivo? Product. ¿Podemos... No, 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 perdón. Para Good mí... Quality, ¿verdad? Good quality. Ajá. Good quality, ajá. Uh -huh. Good quality or excellent quality. Mm -hmm. What else? Another adjective. Jessica said expensive como negative. Sí, ¿verdad, Jessica? Yes, teacher. But it you depend the, the brand, the quality. Exactly. 
expensive can be positive, but can be also negative. Uh -huh. What else? Another adjective to show this satisfaction. You can say bad quality. Mm -hmm. What else? But quality, expensive, the salesman is a liar. What about late? When a person arrives late or the product arrives late. Uh -huh. Another adjective to show this satisfaction? Yes. You can say low quality. It is broken. Uh -huh. No more. Bad attention. Mm -hmm. You can say bad customer service. Mm -hmm. Do we have more satisfaction adjectives? Fine. Helpful. Mm -hmm. We already have friendly, we have kind, helpful, on time, but on time is not an adjective. Uh -huh. uh, no. La punctuality teacher. Punctual is so. Punctual. Punctual. And the delivery of the order. Exactly. Exactly. Punctual. So if they say, I'm going to send it to you on Friday, it is really on Friday, right? Sometimes they tell you, I will, it will be ready for Friday. And Friday gets arrives and the product is not ready. Okay, so that was talking about satisfaction and this satisfaction, right? Now, Let's go. Here we are with another topic that we were reviewing this week, and it's just no questions in the past. I have here a couple of questions for you to practice. Check. Okay, and repeat after me. Did you want something to eat? Did you want something to eat? Did you want something to eat? Did your friends call you or text you today? Did your friends call you or text you today? Did you watch a movie this afternoon? Did you watch a movie this afternoon? Did you eat cereal for breakfast this morning? Did you eat cereal for breakfast this morning? Did it rain last night? Did it rain last night? Did you go on vacation last weekend? Did you go on vacation last weekend? last weekend? Did they have a picnic last month? Did they have they a picnic, have a picnic last, last month? month? Did the store give you a discount? Did the store give you a discount? discount? Okay, one more time. Did you want something to eat? Did you want, you something, want something to eat? eat? Did your friends call you or text you today? Did you your friends today? Did you watch a movie this afternoon? Did you watch a movie this afternoon? Did you eat cereal for breakfast this morning? Did you eat cereal for breakfast this morning? 
Did it rain last night? Did it rain did it, last night? Did you go on vacation last weekend? Did you go on vacation last weekend? Did they have a picnic last month? Did they have a picnic last month? Did the store give you a discount? Hey, now tell me, before class, did you want something to eat? You answered, yes, yes, I did, yes, I do. or no, I didn't. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Did your friends call you or text you today? Yes, I did. Yes, yes they did. did. Mm -hmm. they yes, did. they did. Did you watch a movie this afternoon? No, I no, didn't. I didn't. Okay. Did you eat cereal for breakfast this morning? Yes, no, I, I didn't. didn't. Hmm? Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes, I did or no, I didn't. Did it rain last night? No, it didn't. No, no it no. didn't. No, it yeah. didn't. Mm -hmm. No, it didn't. Did you go on vacation last weekend? No, I didn't. Did they have a picnic last month? No, they didn't. Did the store give you a discount? Did the store give you a discount? I said, yeah. Yes, it did. Uh, okay. it, because we're yes, talking about the store. Uh -huh. The store. We need it. The store is it. Yaki, did it rain last night? You answer with it. Yes, it did. Uh, similar. Okay. Oh, no, it didn't. And here are your friends. Is they? Did your friends call you or text you today? Yes, they did. Or oh, no, they didn't. Um, ah, the same here. Did they have a picnic last month? Yes, they did. Or oh, no, they didn't. Mm -hmm. Any question here? No question? No teacher. Okay. Well, we continue reviewing and now we come with double edge question or information questions. Remember in this type of questions, we answer oh, yes or no. We can extend with the answer if we want, right? That is not like it's strictly necessary. But in these type of questions that are information questions, we definitely have to give information, right? I cannot answer yes or no, I have to give information. So check the first question and repeat after me. Where did you live 10 years ago? Yes, let me check here. Okay. Okay. Um, where did you live 10 years ago? Repeat after me. Where did you live 10 years ago? Where, where did you live 10 years ago? I lived in Mexicanos 10 years ago. I lived in Mexicanos 10 years, years ago. I lived in Soyapango 10 years ago. I lived, I lived in San Miguel 10 years ago. Why did you decide to study English? Why did you decide to study English? I decided to study English because I wanted to learn a new language. I decided to study English because I wanted to learn a new language. When you were a child, which color did you prefer, black or red? When you were, when you were a child, which color did you prefer, black 
All right. When I was a child, I preferred the life. When I was when a child, I, was child, I preferred the black. black. Who ate chocolate this morning? Who ate chocolate this morning? Who ate chocolate this morning? Ate chocolate this morning? Manuel ate chocolate this morning. Manuel ate, Manuel ate chocolate this morning. Who did you call today? Who did you call today? Today I called Lupita. Today I call Lupita. Oh, I call Lupita today. Lupita today. Oh, I I call the Lupita. expression of time can be at the beginning or at the end. So you can say, I called Lupita today. How did you get to work? 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 I got to work by bus. I got to work by bus. What did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? I worked last weekend. I worked last weekend. Okay. What did you do last weekend? I worked last weekend. I worked last weekend. Okay, now I'm going to give you chance for you to work in pairs and ask the questions for the people. So you see. We have here one, two, three, we have seven sentences. You write three more que uh, questions, right? You write three more questions and these seven that you have here and you ask them to your partners. Take turns giving your own answer. I ya no va a decir I lived in Mexicanos 10 years ago, sino que I lived in Miramonte 10 years ago. I lived in Chalatenango, whatever, right? You give your own answer here. Why did you decide to study English? I decided to study English because I used to agrega su propia Okay? Y pueden cambiar los colores. When you were a child, which color did you prefer? Green or yellow, right? And your partner will have to give his or her own answer. Mm -hmm. Any question here? No question. No? No teacher. I'm going to paste the questions in the chat. I'm going to share the questions in the chat and then you ask the questions. Remember, ask these questions and add three more questions. Yeah. You can use let me show you something here. You can choose the beginning questions that you have here. Follow the example. Complete. Tomen cinco, eh, cinco nada más de las otras siete and complete these questions and answer them too. Okay? You complete the questions and then answer the questions. Okay. So you do a, ask five from here. Aquí hay siete, escogen cinco, y estas otras siete. What did you do on the weekend? What did you eat for breakfast? What did you eat for lunch? Cualquier cosa, lo que usted quiera preguntar, completa las preguntas, 
y así mismo se hacen las preguntas y las responden en dos. ¿Es that clear for you? Yes. ¿Sí estamos bien? Yes, ¿verdad que sí? ¿O asunto que sí? Un nuevo ejemplo. Following example questions. Yo voy, yo voy. Es que si lo único que no lo pido. Porque si lo poco de allá, se va a ir con las respuestas. Yo voy a ir. Ay, esa última parte está en el manual. Muy bien. Ahí tienen en el manual, I tell you. Page 36. Page 36. Ahí dice complete the email using the preposition for time. Ese es un error de verbo. Entonces, allí tiene, ¿verdad? Complete the questions in the simple past. Eso es básicamente lo que dice. ¿Ok? Ahí se los puse en el chat para que no ande buscando por otro lado. And there we go. Oh, everybody here today. Wow. Right, Chuchu? Thank you, Joey. Marcelo, are you here today? Hi, hi. Uh, hello, teacher. Ya vieron la pregunta, ¿verdad? Están en el chat. Uh, chat sí, de WhatsApp. Uh, uh, yo lo, lo impresé. <risa> perfect, perfect. <risa> perfect. Okay, we did you. Pregúntense primero las preguntas que estamos practicando, dando uh -huh. ustedes su propia respuesta y después completan las, las del manual, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, entonces practicamos, Germán. Okay. Practice. Uh, where did you lie? Uh, hoy lo oigo bien suavecito, Moisés. Eh, sí, está o sea, suavecito hoy. Ajá. Ah, es que está un poco cansado. Yo creo está, que es el micrófono. Ah, el micrófono, creo. Hoy, el micrófono hoy. está envuelto. Ok, ok. Germán, eh. Um, ¿Qué hice? Aquí estoy, aquí sigo. Eh, 
Where did you live mm, 10 years ago? Where did you live? Uh, with, where did where you, did live? you live 10 years ago? Yes. Um, I live in Costa Rica. A pura vida. <laughs> <laughs> You're from Costa Rica, right, Herman? Costa Rica, yes. Cartago, okay. Cartago. Hey, nice. Nice. Eh, espera, voy a, voy a buscar aquí porque yo, dame un minuto. Um, okay. Okay. Eh, Sí, dime. Uh, why did you decide to study English? Uh, I decided to study English because I want to learn a new language. Okay, I understand for the work. I don't know this is necessary. The chair. Yeah. Uh, one, uh, one question. Uh, yeah. Language, the pronunciation? Language. 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 Okay. Okay, number number three. When you wear a shield, white color child? did when you, when were, you a child? were a child, which color did you prefer? Um green or blue? Uh, when I was child, I preferred black. <laughs> Ninguno oh. que... <laughs> no, no, the option. <laughs> negro, okay. negro. <laughs> uh, okay, ready. Entonces, ahora, ahora. Okay, te pregunto. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Moisés, where did you live 10 years ago? I live in Apopa um, 10, uh, 40 years ago. Oh, okay. Why did you decide to study English? I decided to study English for my work is necessary. My okay. job, sorry, my work. Mm -hmm. It is necessary yeah. for me. When you were a child, which color did you prefer? Um, green or blue? <laughs> yeah, the, my favorite color is a green. <laughs> no, no options. Okay, no, no, no options. Bien. Ok, ahora las otras tenemos que contestarlas. Ah, tenemos que hacer la oración. Uh -huh. You have to make the questions bueno. and also write the answers. Ok, sería, por, por ejemplo, what did you eat um, tomorrow? What did, what did you <laughs> what did you eat it um, eat to morning um i eat um i ate remember to make ate, the change uh, with that okay mm -hmm. i ate uh, rice and beans casamiento casamiento rice and beans is a and food in Costa Rica, uh, you Bolivia. call it gallo pinto, Germán. Sí, in, igual en Costa Rica. En Costa Rica hay un gallo pinto similar al, al, al casamiento. casamiento. Sí. Uh -huh. Solamente uh -huh. que acá se hace como, acá lo hacen hasta con frijoles eh, licuados, sí, molidos. Sí. Pero allá no, allá se revuelve digamos, el, los frijoles y el arroz, y si uno quiere hasta separar los frijoles, los puede separar. ¿Verdad? Ah. Y lleva muchas especies, ¿verdad? Chile, cilantro, cebolla. Ah, mire, eh. pues así lo doy yo al estilo, al estilo de allá. Costarricense. Por ahí oh. le pongo cilantro, chile, cebolla. Ajá. En Santiago de María venden uno que se llama eh, frijoles de hombre, se llama, porque lleva frijol, arroz y mucho chile. <ríe> Yo pensé que era broma, pero así se llama. <ríe> chile picante. Sí, lleva chile, pero las rodajas del chile pareciera que es como ranchero, le llaman. 
pero ahí le dicen frijoles de hombre. Así, yo pensé que me estaban haciendo una broma, pero yo, después llegaron una, una señorita, una muchacha. ¿Me da frijoles de hombre? Y yo. <risa> That's interesting. Digo, okay. Okay. Eso es en de... Santiago María. Santiago de María en Usulután. Ajá. Sí, Pues ya. Así es que... Me ofrecen frijoles de hombre. Ay, que no. <risa> es como está un poco machista. Uno, está pensando uno, bueno, ¿qué será? Ajá. Sí, yo, yo igual pensé que me estaban haciendo una broma, pero. Y, y otra broma también que me hicieron ahí, o sea, yo pensaba que era broma, es que cuando le dan un café, le preguntan que si quiere guineo, y, y guineo maduro, entonces, Ajá. y al principio pensé que era broma, pero ya cuando usted prueba el, el café un poco amargo y el guineo bien madurito, es, es una buena combinación. Pero guineo, guineo, no plátano frito, ¿verdad? No, es como, como fruta fresca, guineo de seda y que esté bastante maduro, entonces si el café está un poco amargo, la dulzura del guineo hace un, un toque bien. Ah, qué rico. Ya lo imagino <risa> yo. ¿Verdad que...? También, que... sí, sí. I had, a, I had a friend who liked to eat eh, like that. And oh. she said, try this, and try this. And, and, and she gave us, at the beginning, she, she gave us a banana, and she said, esto amerita un café. And we were like, okay, well, why not? And they, and we went for a for a cup of coffee. And later on, it was like a custom. And we there were we were many of us eating banana with coffee. But it's and delicious. I'm not, I'm not from Usulután, but you see, I learned. Uh -huh. ah. <laughs> I learned. Okay, but it's, it's delicious. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's, it's Now, if, okay. I, if, I... if I have bananas, I, I eat the banana with coffee. <laughs> yeah, I learned. <laughs> okay, Herman, number two, Julian. What did you wear today? What or how? Oh, excuse me. You want to compose? No. How do you? What did you do? What did you what do. did you what did you do work today? Mm, what did you do at work? What did you do at work today? At work today. Okay. Um, in office or travel? No, I I well sorry, you know. Y no iba tan mal en él. Who did Dejo. you meet Aquí. yesterday? Who did you meet? Yesterday. Ah. Uh, Who did you meet yesterday? Uh, one, one question, teacher. Yeah. Right here in the number five, we can use a, 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 a present and past. No, only past. Only past. Sí. Past, like. you could use whatever, but remember that the structure we are practicing is past. Uh, because for our, like uh, this is sample the, of Carla, she say, uh, who did you call today? Porque today ya terminó casi. Uh -huh. Who did you call today, like in the morning or in the afternoon? Who did you call? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, it depends on okay. Yeah, depends on the time of the day. Yes, because I, I say to, I, who did you call this morning? Who did you call this morning? Yes. Um, who did you go with? With? Where, Carlita? Who did you go to the party with? Who did you go to the office with? Mm. Who did you go to the shopping mall with? Who did you go uh, with? 
or go to the party and uh have. -huh. Did you go to the party with? Mm -hmm. Did you go to the party? Who did you go to the party with, Miguel? Uh, with my friends. I I I I went I, to the party. I went I went to the party with my friends. Uh -huh. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Day is Friday. <laughs> <laughs> it's party day. Yes, it's a class day. <laughs> Miguel, when I prefer to stay in class. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Ay, Carlita, muy bien, Carlita. <laughs> The practice the the five sentence. Okay. Okay. The first, what did you do? In vacation. Mm -hmm. um, what did you do? What did you do yesterday? Oh, yes, sir. What did you do last last summer? Um, number two. Is it how? Oh, yes. How. how do you do that? How did you do that? Yes. And the number three. Why the you sería, verdad? Mm -hmm. uh, why do you? Uh, what do you do in the restaurant? Why do you? Why did you prefer to eat pizza? Esa teacher sería, no llevaría el do, quizás. Why do you, sí, why do you, why do you prefer, why did you prefer to you, why, why did you prefer to eat pizza, she said. Eat pizza. Uh -huh. Why did you prefer to eat pizza? Sí, ah, y esa que, uh, esa, why did you do in the restaurant? A ver. What number? Number three. Que nosotros hemos creado, pero lo, lo ah, que vaya. preguntando es, es que como si está bien. Ajá. Acuérdese que la pregunta why es por qué. Ajá. Tiene, tiene que llevar un verbo, ¿verdad? Después del. Sí, que estamos en el restaurante, según yo. ¿Por qué? Ajá. ¿Por qué? Ahí preguntó por qué te. Tú... ¿Por qué preferiste la pizza? Ah, Más sí, pero esa es Gabriela. Exacto. Ajá, Gaby, exacto. Y léame su pregunta otra vez. ¿Why did you do? In the restaurant. Mm, ahí sería what. What did you do in the restaurant? Yes, Pero si yes, quiere yes. usar why, why did you go to the restaurant, podría ser. Ah, entonces en vez del do sería el go. Go. Why did you go to the restaurant? Mm -hmm. Pero lo que quiero, lo que quiero preguntar es por qué estabas en el restaurante. Why were you in the restaurant? Ajá, en ese caso yeah. tendría que ser where. Why were you in the restaurant? Mm. Uh -huh. Ahí cambia y le elimina el... No, no, no pega esa, esa pregunta. 
eh, como va a usar you, tiene que ser eh, where. Where. Mm. Why were you in the restaurant? Because I was hungry. <laughs> uh, a question, teacher. In the, yeah. in the, we have to put the verb in present. In the, sí, in the, the verb in the goes question. in present, exactly. And um, when we, the answer is in, is in past. In past, yeah. The verb is in past. The verb is in past in the answer, but in Pre the question, it has for, to be affirmed. For, for it example, be, if, if it I has say... It to be base form. Uh -huh, if I say, why did you buy that car? Mm -hmm. The answer is because um, I buy it. Okay. Why did you buy that car? I Why did you it, buy that car? I buy the, the car because I like Because I like. Because I like. Because I liked it. Porque me gustó. I like it. ¿verdad? Por eso lo compré porque me gustó. Mm -hmm. Ya no decimos, eh, repetimos comprar. Vaya. No, no. Ahí va a responder, como la, lo que le preguntan es el motivo por el que lo compró. ¿Por qué? Okay. A menos que usted quiera dar una respuesta muy larga y decir, I bought the car because I liked it. Ah, ok. Si no puede decir en una forma un poco informal, because I liked it. Okay. Es como, como por, por, cuando decimos español, porque sí. Porque me gustó. Sí. <risa> Solo porque sí. ¿no? Exacto. ¿Una de cuestión, Carlita? En... No, ahorita no. no Hi, teacher. Hi. We practice the exercise. Yes, uh, how did you do the sandwich? Can you la S a sandwich for una C? Sandwich. Gracias, teacher. Hey, yes. <laughs> Your, I'm your, sorry. your secret <laughs> recipe, Jessica. Your secret Res, recipe. Er, res, recipe. Ajá. Recipe. Recipe. P. Okay, thank you. <laughs> P de pollito. <laughs> My secret recipe. Pepe. No es así, teacher. Con P de pollito. Espérenme. Ahí está. Gracias. Ya, ya es la hora, teacher. Ya yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> okay. Fíjese que se escribe recipe, pero se pronuncia recipe. 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 Pronounce it recipe. Okay, thank you. Why did you do that? Because I was the event at church. This is a true events. It's a true events. Norma have a events in October. Okay. Because, mm -hmm. ah, pues póngale, because I had an event at work or because, tiene dos opciones. Because I had an event at church or because I was at an event at church. I was at an at. event and at an event. And. Ese está bien, así. Sí, hasta el at estamos bien. At, at, and, at church. Sí, at church. Ah, ok. Gracias. At, póngale, espéreme que aquí se me fue. I, I was know. at an event. An. Ya, yeah, teacher, ahorita me voy para ahí. Permítame, an event at church. Ajá, uh -huh. at. No, déjele la. At, an. An. Sí, at an event. Okay. At mm. an Agregue an, an event. 
Ajá, ahí está. Okay. WhatsApp and event at church. Okay. Vaya, church y school en este caso no llevan de. O sea, I was an event at school. I was an event at church. But I, I was at an event oh. at the beach or at the park okay. at school. Okay, thank you. Where did you go to church? Y así entonces. Sí. I okay. went to church. No, to church, sí. I went to church. Y me le quita la U a Mon. Ajá. Mm. Where, where did you go? Mm -hmm. Pero aquí hay un conflicto. Why? You are asking where and you are answering when. Ah, ok, ok. Where did you have the event? Ah, pero ya lo habíamos dicho. A, a, ¿Por qué? A, a, a... No, lo que puede hacer es quitarle a church en la pregunta y dejárselo a la respuesta. Where did you go? Where did you go? Goes only. Hasta allí. Ok. Went to church. Y le pone una R a church. Short. Short. No, pero ajá. En de ur, uh, ajá. Uh, uh, are you? <laughs> Ay, Dios mío. Ya es el sueño. Pero Where no. did you go? I went to church to Montego. Estamos bien. Ok, teacher. This sandwich. Who did this? Póngale ese a sandwich. Sí. Who did you eat this sandwich with? Sandwich. With. ¿Con quién te comiste el sándwich? No lo puedo explicar. ¿Y el sándwich with? With. Primero la T y después la H. Cero tuvieron ortografía hoy, Dios mío. It's Friday, no Gracias it's Friday. a Dios que no es de ortografía el examen hoy. Póngale el with también a la pregunta después de sándwich. Wait, no, después de sándwich. Al final, ajá. With. Ok, teacher. Do you listen to us? Y le agrega un sujeto. Hay, hay, no, a la, a la respuesta, ajá. Hay. Ajá, ahí hay de okay. The kids, parents, and all guests. Ahí está. Ok. Ok. <laughs> yes, okay. ok, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Do you listen to us? Yes. Ok, Norma. First you. Ok. What did, what did you do yesterday? I worked very hard. And I was very busy in the house. Okay. How did you do the sandwich? I prepared the past of chicken. I used my secret recipe. 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 Sí, recipe. Recipe. Okay. Okay, I used my secret recipe. Sí. Recipe. 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 Okay. Es que es como que donde va la I se pronuncia como E y donde va la E se pronuncia como I. Recipe. Okay. Recipe. okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Why did you do that? Uh, because I was at, e at an event at church. Mm -hmm. Where did you go? I went to church two months ago. Who did you eat the sandwich with? I eat the sandwich with the, the kids, parents, and all guests. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you. Nice, Lisa. nice. Thank you. Well, Such. vámonos pues. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Norma.
Not as nice. Oh, see that. Everybody bow. Yes. Okay. Are you ready? You know, A ver, what questions do you have for the number one? What did you what did you uh -huh. sure, in my class in my class is the, the question to Herman. Is what did you eat today? What what did you eat uh, to morning? At morning. Did you eat in the morning. In the morning. Okay. It's, okay. Uh, German, you, you answer the um chicken. Oh, uh, see chicken on um, little little Caesar pizza. Uh. <laughs> okay. What did you eat today for lunch then? Okay. okay, lunch. What did you eat for lunch today? I eat chicken and little scissors. Yes. Okay. How did you? Mm -hmm. Wants to volunteer. How did you arrive the office? How did you arrive at the office? Yes. Hmm. Number three. Why did you? Why did you? Why did you buy that car? Mm. Why did you buy that car? Wait. Why did you buy that car, Miguel? Because Ask. I like it. Because I like to. Very good. Now, let's see number four. Where did you? Where did you? Where did you have lunch today? Where did you live? Two years ago, where did you study high school? Where did you go? Where did you go? Where did you go? When? Today? Where did you go today? Where did you go last Sunday? Where did you go yesterday? Okay. Aquí le podemos agregar una expresión de tiempo. To be a little more specific, right? Who did you? Who did you? Who did you see today? Who did you meet? Who did who who did you send the email today? Okay, who did you send emails today? Who 
we will send emails to today. Amma, who did you call today? Who did you send messages to? Mm -hmm. Any questions here? Mm -hmm. No questions? A ver, Jessica, what did you eat for lunch today? I eat for lunch Chinese food. Okay, I ate. Remember to change the I, question. I ate. I ate for lunch Chinese food. I ate Chinese food. There we go. Mm -hmm. Next question. How did you arrive at the office today, Moises? How did you arrive uh, at the office? I arrived I, I, uh, at... I do. I do. At the office, um, five thirty a.m. But how? By bus, by car, by train, no, by train, no. by, by by bus, by bus. Okay. Let's see, Miguel. Why? No, ya le pregunté. Why did you buy that? Part. Where did you go today, Miguel? Where did you go today? I I go to the go to my work. I went to I went to work. To work. Mm -hmm. I went to work. I went left for the bus. You went to work by bus too. Okay, we can see German, who did you send emails to today? Did you send emails today? Yes, teacher. I sent uh, I sent okay. emails uh, to whom? My friends. To your friends. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice. I have a couple of example questions. You need to wait so you can see. What did you do on the weekend? I bought some clothes at the mall. How did you, how did you do in the classroom? I did kind of well in the platform. Why did you exercise a lot? Oops. I exercised a lot because my friends couldn't come today. Where did you buy this shirt? I bought it in the market. Who did you invite to the party? I invited my friends to the party. Okay, nice, great job. Very, very good. Now, we're going to move, yeah, here. You go to your manual page, let me tell you. Page number 38, page 38. You're going to make these sentences negatives, okay? You have the sentence in affirmative, you're going to change it to negative. For example, this. No, it's the opposite, right? It is in the, the, yeah. the number one teacher. Yeah, it is in the, it is in negative, you will change it to affirmative. So you have, she didn't buy that computer, she bought that computer, okay? Now it's the opposite, right? Because before we have changed from positive to negative, now you will change from negative to positive. Go ahead.
Number two, teacher. We wrote that package. Uh -huh. He didn't bring that package, he wrote that package. Very good. Mm -hmm. Number three, the client called it yesterday. The client called it yesterday. The employees read the email. The employees didn't read it. The employees read the email. The Our boss came back last week. Our boss came back. Mm -hmm. They didn't cancel the meeting. They consult the meeting. The lady wanted to, compl to complain. The lady wanted to complain. Mm -hmm. Number Sent to the phone to this email. I sent. I sent. To be Very good. Okay. Any question here? No teacher. No question. Okay, repeat after me. She didn't buy that computer. She didn't buy that computer. She bought that computer. She bought, she bought that computer. We didn't bring that package. We didn't bring that package. We broke that package. We broke that package. The client didn't uh, call yesterday. Client the client didn't, didn't call yesterday. yesterday. The client called yesterday. The client called yesterday. The employees didn't read the email. Employees didn't, didn't read the email. The employees read the email. The employees, the employees read the email. Our boss didn't come back last week. Our boss, Our boss came, came back, back last week. Our last boss week. came back last week. Our boss came back last week. Very good. They didn't cancel the meeting. They canceled the meeting. They canceled the meeting. They consult the meeting. The lady didn't want to complain. The lady didn't want to complain. The lady wanted to complain. The lady wanted to complain. I didn't send the refund to this email. I didn't send the refund to this email. I sent the refund to this email. I sent the refund to this email. Okay, very good. No questions here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No questions. No questions. Okay. I have here some verbs just for you to refresh. Remember what is the past and what is the, in the future, you will have to learn also the past parts. I'm going to tell you the verb in present. And you tell me the verb in past, okay? So, no, wait a moment. <laughs> I'm going to go in the survey. Okay, go. You tell me the past. Go. When? When? Break. 
Broke. 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 Chus. Chos. Chos. Swim. Swan. Make. Make. Write. Make. Grow. Build. Write. Grow. Grow. Build. Building. Built. Sell. Sold. Sold. Do. Did. Cook. Cook. Cooked. Speak. Spoke. Speak. Spoke. Move. Cook. Cook. Move. Move. Eat. Eight. 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 Speak. Speak it. Spot. Eat. Eight. Eight. Dance. 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 Bring. Bro. Go. Well. Speak. Spoke. Breathe. Trunk. Breathe. Real. 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 Drink. <laughs> Drunk. Buy. Oh. Sing. Sunk. Oh. Study. 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 Sell. Sold. Cook. 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 Right. Cook. Eat. Eight. Buy. Go. Go. Begin. Become. Swim. Swung. Swung. Bring. Swung. Swung. Bring. Brought. Speak. Spoke. Sing. Song. Sell. Sold. Sold. Go. Went. Make. Make. Write. Brought. Brought. Drink. Brought. Drunk. Drunk. Tell. Told. Told. Okay, very good. Very good. Now, you're going to put into practice this and some other verbs here. What are you going to do here? You're going to write information questions, right? It says create information questions using the verbs given. And then ask the questions and write the answers that your partners give you. Remember, the verbs that you have to do or you have to use are do, go, buy, work, read, and see. But, but remember, you're not writing only uh, sentences. You're writing questions, information questions. What did you do? Where did you go? What did you buy? Things like that, right? You should do, go, buy, work, read, and see. I'm going to send you to the rooms for um, about six, seven minutes. You shall there it's, well, it is in your manual. On your manual, page 38. Page 38. I'm going to make new groups. Mm. I need to try, well, I need to make only four groups. No, 
try to join. Thank you, Julie. Okay. Entonces, por eso nosotros retomamos esa temática. Okay. Hi, teacher. A empezar, vamos. Excelente. ¿En cuál página? 38. Ah, ya la encontré. Okay. 38. Sí. Vamos a hacerla. Entonces, y escribir la respuesta. Sí, information question. Okay. Podemos empezar usando what? Yes. Y en past tense, ¿verdad, teacher? Yeah, what did? What did? What did you do last okay. week? Uh -huh. Last week. Ahora vamos a responder. Ok. Puede ser. I went to the church. I went to the church. I went to church. Solita o familia? Only, lonely or with your family? With my family. Okay. This is where. Where? Did, cool. Yes. Where did your family go? ¿Dónde va tu familia? Where did your family go? 
in the vacation. What is it? Oh, on, vacation. on vacation. On vacation. On vacation. Okay, está bien. Carla. The answer. Sería. L1. My family went. The mountain, the beach. The beach. Más que todo, the pool. Ah, the home. ¿Cómo se escribe pool? Pool. Es doble O. The pool. On vacation. On vacation. Okay. What? Sí, uh, yes. What? O why? No sé. No puede ser. Why. Quiero usar el why. Casi no, no, nunca me salen bien las de why. Okay. What did you buy? Uh, eh, your blues. Compraste your... esa cartera. Quisiera poder decir. Why did you buy? I buy. The... buy. Uh -huh. Dispar. Sí. Está bien, teacher, porque en el anterior Ay. me salió mal a la ortografía. Sí. <risa> Why did you buy? Why did you buy? Because it's beautiful. And... Y quiero poner y combina. ¿Cómo se dice combina? And matches. And matches. Uh, spell me, teacher. M A T C H. En matches. Creo que uh, poner Gold is beautiful in combination with and my. Combines and matches. And matches. Combination. Matches. Así? Matches. And matches. Así, teacher. Matches. Así okay. se escribe matches. Okay. ¿Con qué dijo que le combinan con su vestido? With my shoes. Ah, no. Shoes. Shoes. Okay. Oh, with the shoes. <laughs> the woman <laughs> always says, don't have <laughs> clothing. I don't have anything to wear. <laughs> <laughs> El closet explota. <laughs> mercado y salgo con tres, cuatro pares de zapatos. A mí me encanta comprar zapatos. <risa> wow. Ok. Eh, when did you work last year? When No. ¿Qué significa? When did you work? ¿Cuál era tu, tu, tu trabajo el año pasado, Eva? ¿Dónde trabajaba? ¿Dónde? Ah, ¿dónde? I work. Bueno, yo sigo trabajando en el mismo lugar. <risa> The same place, teacher. I work. No, pero como la pregunta es dónde trabajaba. Ah, excuse me. Ah, ok, pero I work. On the same plane. Mm. In the same plane? Yeah, in the same place I work now. Sí. In the same place or in the same office? Podría ser quien leyó. If you read. The book. En el caso de eh, do sería deal, but what you do, what you, what What, what, what did you do on the 
que un be, uno es el auxiliar y el otro es el verbo hacer. What did you do? Es, es que tenemos, tenemos dudas, teacher, porque eh, nosotros lo hemos hecho, por ejemplo, con do, what you do on Sunday. What did you do? What did you do? Okay. Sí, what did you do on Sunday? What did you do on Sunday? Entonces la segunda sería where where did you go after class? Mm -hmm. Okay. What did you go after class? Where did, where did you go after? Eh, la tercera tenemos why did you buy the shoes? Why did you buy the shoes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y la otra, a la otra también la tenemos mal. Entonces tendría que ser, where did you work? Where did you work? Y ahí habría que darle como una expresión de tiempo. Eh, digamos. Sí. Eh, where, did you, where, where did you work in the afternoon? No. Where did you work in the afternoon? Sí, sí, afternoon. Okay. Okay. Y la, la otra, la quinta sería, why did you like to read? Why mm -hmm. did you like to read? Y la número seis sería, where did you, where did you see, see? no, pero ver, sí. where did you see me? Mm -hmm. Where did you ¿Cuál, see? ¿Cuál es la diferencia, teacher, de see y watch? Se, el uso. Mm -hmm. You watch movies, you watch cartoons, you watch a soccer game, but you see friends. Oh. You see a movie oh. eh, in, the, in the movie theater. If you go to the movie theater, you see a movie. If you see it in your house, it's watch. You watch a movie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, ready? The answer to you, what did you, what did you do on Sunday, uh, Tamara? Um, I, ese sería en pasado, ¿verdad? I watch, I watch. Eh, the movies. Oh, I watch the movies. What? Number two, uh, Tamara, where did you go after class? <laughs> I go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Pero como ese es en, en pasado, tendría que ser esa, ¿verdad? I went. I went. I went to sleep. Ok. Y la, la number three. Why did, did you buy the shoes? Why did you buy the shoes? And sería because... Because I needed Ajá. the shoes no in color red. Ajá, no lo sé, <risa> Ya he escuchado no eso. No, es, no, no sé a dónde he escuchado eso. Ok. <risa> because I need the color red. <risa> In number four, where did you work to the afternoon? In the afternoon. Que si fue a mi trabajo, no, donde fuiste? No, cual fuiste? Where, where did Where you did work? you work? Okay, hiciste en tu trabajo por la tarde. 
¿O dónde, ¿O dónde fuiste el trabajo en la tarde? Ajá. Eh, I, I went, I went to, I went to a very emails. Sería, estaría bien así. Por ejemplo, yo sería, I, I, am, I am in the office to, very, uh, every day. O sea, no, no, no salí, no que estuve todo el día en la office. Ok. Entonces sería, I was, no, I. Es como pasado. El presente es, I give. Ajá. Ok. Entonces está bien como dijo usted que la, la, la uno más y con la respuesta. Solo que en vez de give en el give. Sí. Sí, ¿verdad? Hi, teacher. Uh -huh. only, only two. We have only two. Uh, two people working. Questions. Uh, Hello. Kelly. Hola. I, uh, the answer is uh, I went to the party. I went to the party with Nicole or with okay, okay. my sister or my. Okay, that. Yo hasta ahí la dejé a, sí. a week. Okay. Hoy vamos con bye. Uh, Who buy? Who buy the? Who buy the soda? Y la respuesta puede ser Kelly bought the soda. Ah. What do you think? Kelly, va si lo ponemos así. Who buy the, eh. who buy the soda? La pregunta. Y contesto Kelly bought. Como tenemos que jugar con... Que el... yo la compré. Sí. <risa> Démosle. ¿Estaría bien, Maseño? Yes. Ay, no andamos tan perdidos. Tampoco. Ay, yo vi que no arrancábamos, ¿verdad? Estábamos... Es que no habíamos trabado la número uno porque no hallábamos. Kelly Bout. Pero ya ve, ahí va ya. Es que solo la vimos a usted y nos afligimos. Eso. Really about the soda. No, aquí estamos sacando, don Germán me estaba sacando, mire que fuimos compañeros de estudio, pero un par de años así, de diferencia en, el, en un colegio aquí en Santa Ana. Así que fuimos alesianos. Oh, mire. Vaya. The next is the work. Work. Um, at, at abajo. Let us see it. Did Did you work? Did you work today, Kelly? Como como. Eh, como es pregunta, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, no sé, vaya. Did you work? En base siempre. Did you work today? Today. Today? Ah. Yes. Ok. Que bueno. si trabajé hoy. Ajá. Uh -huh. I worked. Yes, I worked today. Yes, I. Sí. Así es, teacher, it's sí. okay. Yeah, I worked today. No, es el mismo, usaríamos el mismo modo del verbo. No. No, pasado, work. Work. I worked. El verbo va a ir en past. Ajá. Es que tenemos que jugar con las oraciones. Si la pregunta es en pasado, la respuesta es en presente. Uh -huh. Y al revés. Sí, el verbo va, es que el verbo va en pasado. Y el verbo va en pasado. ¿ah? 
Five. Aquí vamos en la number five. The, the verb is in past. The question is in past. Hmm. Read. Espérenme, ¿cuál es la otra? Read. De, de, de yo, leer. De leer, ajá. Mm -hmm. Did you read the email for the meetings? O para es from the meetings. ¿Cómo, cómo, Pero cómo. sería de le, para decir leíste eh, el, el email para la reunión. Así sería, teacher. Uh -huh. For the meeting. Uh -huh. Did you read the email for the meet? Uh -huh. From the meetings. Me meeting, meetings. Did you read? The email was the meeting. Excuse me. Did you read the, 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 me, the email? The emails? For the meeting. From the meeting. For the meeting. Mm -hmm. See, meetings. Meetings, okay. O sea, meetings. Meetings, sí. Y la respuesta sería. Yes. Yes, I did. I did read. Read. Yes, I did or yes, I read. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Ah, yes, pues, I, yes, I read. Yes, I read the, the, the meals. The meals. Mm -hmm. Emails. The emails. I read the emails. Sí, es una cuesta corta. The second person, teacher, singular. Y nos falta el sí, the bear, I see, did, did, did you see TV? Did you watch oh, TV? Or the movie? Ajá, did you watch the movie? Ajá. Did you see the movie? Yes, I saw the movie. I saw the movie. It's a short answer. Uh -huh. Ready, can I go? <laughs> ya ve, don Miguel, que lo hicimos. Sí, qué bárbaro. Uh. <laughs> Un no, poquito de iluminación necesitábamos. Apenas, teacher, apenas la vieron a usted, le dijo Miguel, hey, ahí está la pista. <laughs> Con turbo. Ay, <laughs> sí, va a llover. Ok, thank you, teacher. Excelente. Gracias, Kelly, Germán. Y... Qué bueno, Germán. Después platicamos. Por supuesto. Gracias. Sí. Vamos a hablar del sí, padre de Abel, del padre Lucel. Bueno. <risa> es bueno escuchar así esas historias de personas que se han reencontrado. Mira. Ay, Kelly, ¿qué pasó? Well, just. One minute for everybody to come back. How was it? Easy? Difficult? Hmm? Interesting. Uh, is necessary or uh, uh, I knew they should wear the, uh, my car. <laughs> no, it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Remember this question, I'm going to write just the first one because this is the one that I was checking if you had problems, right? Did you do, did you do, bueno, it's una, perdón, it's una double H question. What did you do? What did you do? Acuérdense que el did es el auxiliar y el do es mi ver, ¿verdad? What did you do? Teacher, ¿Sí? eh, yo me tengo que desconectar ya por la hora, no sé si hay problema. Ah, no, Gaby, está bien, solo esta le voy a poner porque vi que a algunos me les dio problema el, el, este verbo. 
Pero acuérdense que este verbo es como que si fuera go, buy o work, cualquier otro verbo, pero el auxiliar siempre va a ir en su primer, ¿verdad? Solo hacen. Y la demás, muy bien, great job. Tell me present. I'm going to call you eh, Bella. Bella, Bella. Carlos Roberto. Present teacher. Darling. Dennis, Edgar, present teacher, Gabriela, present, Herman, present teacher, Jessica, present teacher, Carla, present, Kelly, present teacher, Marcelo, present teacher, Mauricio, present, Miguel, Present teacher. Moisés. Norma. Present teacher. Norma. Present teacher. Pedro. Present teacher. Ronald. Sabrina. Tamara. Present. Present. Okay. Waldemar. Walter. Present teacher. Okay, well. See you. Next sí. week. Next Monday. Next Monday. <laughs> Norma, Norma, Norma se queda conmigo. See you Monday. Good Bye. night. Bye. Don't Bye. forget. Night, everybody. Bye. Hoy recojo plataforma 3, ¿verdad? Bye. A trabajar voy, teacher. Ok. Teacher, perdón, ¿hasta, hasta qué número de, de tarea debemos de tener? Es hecho? la número 15. Ah, ok. Gracias. Mm -hmm. Good night, teacher. Good night. Take care. Have a nice weekend. Bye bye, Marcelo. Bye, darling. Hi, Norma. Hi, Miss. Bye, teacher. Thank you. How are you? Give me Quinn. Ya me sabía que hoy me iba a tocar a mí. Ah. <ríe> He llevado la cuenta. <ríe> <ríe> ya sabía, ¿verdad? Ya sabía. 15, 15. Sí, este, este, este módulo. Eh, ha sido muy interesante, teacher, pero lamentablemente ha sido un mes muy ocupado. Siempre es terrible, en diciembre es muy, muy. Ocupado. Sí, y no he estado, no he estado al 100 como, como he estado estos tres anteriores, que al 100% con todo, pero me ha costado por tanta actividad, por el trabajo, por el tráfico, por un compromiso, por otro, en la oficina. Entonces, ay, Dios mío, he hecho malabares para lograr algo sí, no sé, sí ha sido es, difícil es más complicado ¿verdad? sí, lamentablemente ha sido, pero también he sentido que, que el tema no es así como que tan sí, no está muy tan, difícil. tan estricto de fórmulas y de ver tan, también eso ha como ayudado un poco uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Sin embargo, ha estado la temática muy interesante, me ha gustado, he aprendido y, y eso creo que es lo importante. Lo, lo, lo malo o la desventaja es que en mi trabajo no tengo forma de practicar. Ah. Nada que ver, o sea, nada, no puedo. No a se mí. puede fugar, a ver, en el cell phone no hay tales. No, no, no puedo, nada, no hay, y mis compañeras de trabajo dicen el criterio de ellas, es que, ay, no, yo no estoy para eso, entonces ah. no hay ni siquiera un apoyo como para, por molestar o algo, nada, entonces, ay, no, digo, no hay solo que, que yo hago mis, mis prácticas o, o que hay encontrado en YouTube unas, un sitio donde es, eh, pasan historias cortas en inglés con temáticas 
eh, me dan antes el vocabulario y se repite hasta tres veces. O sea, eso uh -huh. estoy haciendo. Es Deber marido. de practicar, ¿verdad? Algo. Sí, eso, eso. eso le va a ayudar un montón. Y mi hija que me ha dado un libro para leer en inglés. ¿Eh? <risa> Entonces, sí, trato de leer una página en las noches, ya después de esto, hacerlo. Pero ahí estoy. El fin de semana pasado tuve en casa la visita de mi comadre con su esposo, que es francés, que es alemán, y ellos full inglés. Ah, entonces, yo, entonces yo les dije, sin pena alguna, o sea, que en this moment I'm learning English. I need entonces, to practice. Que, I need the practice, please. <laughs> entonces sí, estuvimos ahí hablando un poco, pero... Es de aprovechar la oportunidad. Sí, por supuesto. Solo. Y fíjese que entre las paginitas que yo de repente les comparto, eh, ahí hay forma de irse más, eh, metiendo en más práctica también y se les termina. Sí, sí, y eso, y mi error también fue que yo esperaba encontrar sus presentaciones en el manual, pero las primeras no están en el manual, son de parte del tema pero son suyas, son ah, propias sí, sí. Sí, no, es que el manual se queda corto sí, bien corto el manual se queda corto sí. entonces este, lo que yo hago es expandirme en el tema más para que se le más fácil sí, hoy sí ya las, ya las anoto y porque las primeras sí. clases me tuve que estaba en el manual sí, no, así, <risa> si nos quedamos solo con el manual nos quedamos así como que muy cortito, sí, sí, sí hay que buscar de, de extenderse para que la idea es facilitarles. ¿verdad? Correcto. El tema que no se les haga tan difícil ¿no? y que se les facilite el, a la hora de hacer los ejercicios ¿no? y a la hora de, de aprender, pues que lo vayan internalizando un poco más. ¿no? Claro, sí, 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 eso es importante. Así que sí. Pero allí aproveche cada oportunidad para practicar, ¿verdad? Porque sí, la verdad es que las clases ayudan un montón, pero si usted le dedica un poquito extra, eso le va a ayudar. Sí, el punto y, y, y lo más difícil para mí es, el tiempo. ¿cómo decirle? No, no llevar una continuidad de la, del vocabulario cuando empiezo a querer hablar, porque no tengo el, lo, el vocabulario en inglés. Entonces, ay, ahí ya me quedo. ¿Qué digo? ¿Qué hago? Y bueno, regreso <risa> como al español. Eso me detiene, pero he aprendido en estos meses increíble que, que quizás he aprendido más que inglés el darme cuenta de que no tener complejos ni tener pena, eso me ayuda a aventarme y a sí, <risa> practicar. Eso es bien importante. Eh, eso es importantísimo, porque yo antes, sí, ay, pero es que eso, ¿verdad? No, o sea, eso que uno maneja internamente, psicológico, es lo que sí, nos detiene al aprendizaje. Entre más usted se exponga, ya sea viendo video, viendo música, leyendo, eso le, le está enriqueciendo su vocabulario, ¿verdad? Y entre más usted se tire a hablar, más fácil se le va a hacer como venga sentido. Ni cuenta se va a dar usted, según usted va a decir, ay, es que no sé poquito. Y los demás van a decir, pero es que ya sabe bastante. Entonces, pero es con, con la práctica. Eso espero precisamente, porque ya hice la práctica de sacar... Diez palabras para aprender, dije, me puse de meta diez palabras al día de vocabulario y las pegaba aquí, pero, pero en el afán, la ansiedad no me dejó. Entonces, no, dije, diez es mucho, diez es mucho, o sea que sí, le voy a recomendar, aquí no, escribí en, en, el, en el chat. Esta es una página que se llama, bueno, no es una página, es, es parte de un diccionario, es el Cambridge Dictionary. Se llama uh -huh. Word, Word World. Así se llama, Word, Word World. World. Se le escribe en el chat. Word okay. World. Usted se mete, eh, como lo baja en una aplicación que baja al celular 
Okay. Y ahí usted va a andar cerrando. Nice. Este, ahí le da a escoger si usted se quiere aprender cinco palabras diarias o diez. Y le va mandando como que vaya al gimnasio, que se ejercita. Y ahí le van apareciendo jueguitos con esas cinco palabras. Usted escogió que oh. se quiere aprender cinco. Con esas cinco palabras le van apareciendo juegos. Le da primero um, que haga el match de la palabra con la definición. Se la pone a veces que la traduzca. Otras veces que complete oraciones usando la palabra. Entonces, así va poniendo actividades de diferente forma para que usted vaya ocupando la palabra. Si no la... Eh, si se equivocó, póngale que en una palabra cuando le dieron que hiciera el match con la definición, no la respondió correctamente, esa palabra le va a volver a aparecer. Le ok. Va a volver a aparecer y le va a volver a aparecer hasta que la aplicación vea que usted ya la mandó. Ay, qué excelente, gracias. Sí, está bien bonito. lo abajo. Sí, está bien bonita. Es, 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 es del diccionario Cambridge. Oh, qué bueno. Es el diccionario Cambridge. Cuando wow, vengas, wow. Word. Uh -huh. Sí, ese es para aprender vocabulario. Ok, gracias. Muy bien. Ahí le va a parecer que, que va al gimnasio a hacer el workout, le dice. Uh -huh. <ríe> para que usted ahí vaya y va avanzando. Súper, sí, sí, son herramientas necesarias que debemos aplicar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Buscar alternativas uh -huh. para, para avanzar. Uh -huh. Exacto. Y así cuando venga a sentir, da ir bien a ¿no? Sí, y es que esa es la clave, trabajo y práctica. Exacto. Qué bueno, gracias. Ok, a la orden. Bueno, ¿Sí? algo para que vaya a descansar, Norma. <risa> Ay, darling.